A pneumatic cylinder is a linear actuator powered by compressed air. In this video, we will talk about double acting pneumatic cylinder. Let's start with the head cap. The cylinder head, or front cap and end cap, are important components attached to both ends of the cylinder. It performs crucial functions such as closing the cylinder, providing ports for air intake and exhaust, and supporting the piston rod. These are the tie rods. Tie rods are used to hold the cylinder heads together, ensures that cylinder components are protected under pressure. On the top of the front and end cap, these are the air ports, and their function is to provide a way for airflow in and out. And these tubes are connected to the air ports. The tubes connects the cylinder to the valve. We'll talk about the valve later. This is the cylindrical bore, usually made of aluminum. This is an important part that directly affects the performance and power output of the pneumatic cylinder. And inside the cylinder bore, there is main piston, the main piston moves back and forth when there is a difference in pressure on either side of it. And these are the piston guide rings, our cylindrical rings that fit around the piston inside the cylinder. Their primary function is to ensure smooth and precise linear motion between the piston and the cylinder wall by preventing metal-to-metal -metal contact. Piston seal, also known as piston ring or dynamic seal, is a sealing element located on the piston. Its main function is to prevent air from leaking between the piston and the cylinder wall, ensuring effective operation while maintaining pressure on both sides of the piston. Between piston and around piston rod, this is a piston static seal, also called a static O-ring or static gasket, is a component used in pneumatic cylinders to stop air from leaking between the piston and the cylinder wall. Unlike dynamic seals, which handle movement, Static seals keep things airtight when everything is still. There are two cushioning pistons, one at each end, which help reduce impact forces, minimize noise, and extend the life of both the cylinder and the machinery it operates. The piston rod transfers the force generated by the compressed air in the cylinder to the external components or mechanisms that need to be moved or operated. When the piston reaches the end of its stroke, cushioning buffers come into play. These buffers absorb the kinetic energy, reducing the impact force and minimizing noise, which is especially important in maintaining a quiet and smooth operation. Each end of the cylinder has screws that can be turned to adjust the cushioning. This helps make the cylinder's movement smoother at the ends. Now let's move on the valve and also see how all the components work together. Valve. Ports A and B have a direct connection to the cylinder. Port P is linked to the compressed air supply unit. Ports EA and EB serve as exhaust ports. Compressed air enters through inlet port P and the valve directs the airflow in a specific direction. As shown in the animation, in this scenario, the air is directed towards port A. The pressurized gas is then directed to the rear end of the cylinder and gas pushes the piston towards the front. This action forces the gas out from the head end. The exhaust gas flows through a separate hose and makes its way to the valve. The valve then guides the gas to port EB, allowing it to vent out. The process we just saw is the actuator's extension stroke. During the retraction stroke, the valve sends compressed air to the head end of the cylinder. This action causes the piston to move back while the air from the other chamber exits through the exhaust port EA.